secure a point in that match, and even though it ended up being a draw, I think that surprised a lot of people. So in this match, I think we're going to see some pretty even play between these two teams. I would be surprised if it ends up being a, a lopsided affair, but we're going to go to Villa with Accelerate starting on defense and Rise Nation being the very first team to attack. That's something that you don't necessarily see all the time. Something you also don't see all the time if we look towards the ban phase is a buck ban. It's going to come out from Rise Nation to counter Accelerate. Pressure in behind the bar, and Achieve loses his head on a great peek there from Crazy. Now down to 5 HP in behind the bar. Crusher, honestly, just trying to work out of a phone booth right now. Shrouded in his own smoke, prone behind a bar now, being collapsed upon from every possible angle, and he looks away at the worst possible time. England will scamper right on by with that diffuser. Last Toxic Babe attempting to repel the plant attempt, but Crazy again collects another one. England will be able to take out Achieved here and put us in a 3v3. And down goes Crazy. Schlongi posted up on this 90 position with two very important kills in Rise Nation's offense that we saw in round number one now starts to sputter. This long angle that's being held by Acid won't do him well without an ACOG, and there's going to be some coordination with Crusher securing that kill, finding what little is left of England. Cannot get the kill onto Tomas. Zalesian holds the vault. He's the very first casualty in round one. And he's involved with the very final casualty of round number two, but he's the aggressor this time around. Time ticking away with 50 seconds remaining. Acid is going to have to make a mad dash of the diffuser, make it in and win this engagement against Tomas. Achieve, though, will win it out onto Hyper. A trade now for Crazy as Achieve was felled, but crushed on the immediate trade. It leaves Acid alone as he triggers a lesion mine outside of the walk-in closet. Pre-fires from Tomas, will not connect and finish him off. Oh, another one will peek out. Two collected for Acid now and 30 seconds on the clock, but Bio has a three armor with 100 HP and the ACOG advantage inside of the bathroom, though the pre-fire gives away his position. Acid almost labeled connect as Bio tries to retreat back into astronomy, and there we go. Bio able to turn the corner as yet another lesion mine was triggered. Acid finding every single one placed across the map. Gonna clamp down horizontally with one member remaining for Rise topside as they try to push through the memorial room in the laundry closet. Got Acid quick peeking the door and behind the deployable shield, but you still have two flankers for Accelerate. Chief has not pushed back into the backside memorial room or flanked around to the kitchen door. Thomas lands a nice shot onto Acid. The Nomad trying to push him through Laundry England, rattling off shots against the box frame. And he'll collect a kill onto Bio, leveling man count once again. This will force Vandal downstairs to try and clamp in on a flank. Schlong will trade him out, but not before he grabs the kill. And Hyper brings it down to a 1v1 now. Thomas against Hyper, but no time on the clock. Wild pre-fires will not connect on anything but a deployable shield and a few bricks on a wall. So we level once again at a, no, that's a 3-1 lead now. But it's two from Rise to give them the advantage and 10 seconds left with a Rise can make it in on time. Bio on the flank, cuts down Diffuser. You're gonna have to go for kills. Can he hold it off? Five seconds left, Diffuser being picked up, but now Bio will find himself in significant trouble. Does he have time to knock out a plant? Yes! The utility from Accelerate as this is now Four rounds that they have just been given opportunities and taking them every step of the way. A hell of a streak for EXG and they find themselves rewarded. One on cameras inside of Master, but look at Rise again in a 5v5. This is looking to be an absolute gong show and a complete panic fest for both teams. Multiple stacking inside of the connector between Astronomy and Statuary as Crazy has just made it inside of the door frame. England going for a default plant, taking damage from the Toxic Baby. He's going to have to retreat. A trade now as Crazy grabs one, but immediately dropped by Bio. And we have a lot of 4v4. Hyper pushing in through Trophy. Has it with another one, and Bio able to trade one back alone again. And he's able to drop the Diffuser. Two seconds remaining. Two on the floor. And Bio again in the clutch situation. You've got to be kidding me. Rise. Another situation where Bio is the safety net for EXG. It's going to be a game of cat and mouse here. It's a bit of a destructive exit for Achieved. He smashes his way through the wall and will now sit outside and guard the diffuser as it hits a third of the way through. England taking tons of time with this as he's completely blind. You see from the lineup from Rise Nation, there's going to be no information and no intel that England is going to have to work with. And he's next to a soft wall. He'll give himself a little bit extra HP and go for the Diffuser, and this should be achieved knowing exactly that he's there. He'll tag England just a little bit, but England comes around and wins the fight in tons of time as the Doc miraculously performs some surgery on the situation, and it will be a perfect survival rate for Rise on that round. They'll take one round of attack and break the streak that Accelerate had worked so hard for. 
And Schlonge here could be the X Factor as, oh, he just barely misses on Hyper's head. Vandal takes down Tomas, and it's Rise once again putting a lot of work into this push, and it all really stemmed from that opening in the bottom of the floor of Study. Now, Bio is firmly in sight, but nobody is going to feed themselves to him except for Acid, traded off by Vandal. And, oh boy, Crusher's got a really tall task ahead of him. Playing around this bomb chassis, he does have the woodwork around the bar, but it doesn't matter. Hyper, who played so well in 90, simply surviving, being able to outlast all of those frag grenades from Achieved, is just going to tap away. And it's yet again, Rise Nation, starting a streak of their own, perhaps. Typically a body contesting inside of Astro behind the desk. Likely that Accelerate is trying to figure this information out, but Bio's going to go in blind for the time being. Shotgun and Vandal's hands will await the ash, and oh, it's England takes out Bio through those holes from below, and Schlange's just going to push right up. Nobody expecting it. Schlange gets one. England wasn't very much left for this world. And down Schlange will go yet again. This is EXG circling the wagons around the bathroom door. Schlange knows that there might be a body behind the shield. Cannot outduel him. It'll be a stead for Vandal with two kills around the deployable shield. Crazy will pick one in a crossfire and Rise have everything going for them as they'll pick up their third round in a row. And Rise now, you mentioned it, seemingly firing up. They did this last week and they're doing it again. Things are going very well for the defense for the time being. 30 seconds left, Achieved will just sit, post up on the window, waiting for Bio to get in position. Bio will tear through the door and Achieved will now find his way in, but he's gunned down. All the angles being held by Rise and this seems like a hopeless endeavor for Bio, who is so good on defense, but can Lightning strike twice with him on attack? The answer is the, as the sky starts to get a little cloudy, but they think better of it as Bio with one HP has no entry into the site, no diffuser. The round is essentially over, and Rise Nation will hold on, even as Acid collects the very final kill at the last second. Largely impactless, as there was no way Accelerate was fighting their way out of that situation. Get a couple shots off and not hit anybody. Hypers is waiting and watching to see if there's going to be anybody to tussle with him. Over by Study, Bio will unsheath his sidearm. He'll collect the kill onto the dock as EXG finds themselves in a position where it's winnable. But England takes out Crusher and oh no, Rise Nation finds themselves once again able to hold off this storm. Poor time management for EXG and there you have it. Five in a row from Accelerate on their defensive half. And Rise Nation will do the same thing. The difference maker. Rise was able to take round number one. EXG now find themselves battling for one point as Rise Nation are one round away from putting this map in the win column. And Rise poised to be able to hold on. Tomas trying to keep his team in the fight. The contact earlier, but there's Crazy to cut him back down. Hyper there as well. Where is Tomas on Repel? They see the wire. They cut his chances and him down to size. There's very little HP left for this Thatcher, and Rise will have to do a lot of work to throw this game away. 30 seconds left, and patience from Rise will assuredly end it. Tomas will have to, at some point, grab this Diffuser, which sits in the midst of the Lion's Den. Two separate bodies from Rise watching it, and it's all but a formality here. It's a tough break for Accelerate. Both teams looking so strong on defense. How's he going to play the rest of the timeout? Still has some people with deployable shields and different angles in front of him, and that's going to be all she wrote for Accelerate, as this round was over 25 seconds ago. Six rounds in a row. Perfect on defense. Only one attacking round went in favor of the attackers. That was round number one. After that, 11 consecutive defender victories, showing that sometimes the meta doesn't necessarily always shake out the same way. Rise Nation, a big three points. That's another miraculous.